Hey everyone, Stephanie here, coffee drinker, book lover, and reviewer of many things, and this is my spoiler for um, Vampire Kisses by Uline Rubbery. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, this book was the book that was for a book with a verb in the title. And uh, we, uh, you know, let it slide. Kisses. Is it? This is a verb. Is it? Uh, it is. That's okay. I let it pass because it sounded interesting. Um, I liked this book. And I think that I'm trying to think of what my favorite part was so I could spoil it. Um, I enjoyed, I liked the scene where um, she she knew it was her sweet 16 and the bully guy was like, oh, are you going to stay home and watch movies? And she's like, no, actually, we're going to Matt's party. And even her best friend was like, what? <laughs> I, just love, I love that sometimes uh, Becky, her best friend, could never like just go along. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. She was like, we are? What? <laughs> um, and um, I, I really liked that uh, they went, they, they did, they went to the party. And I was kind of upset by the fact that they got split up. But I liked that. I liked how. I liked what she did to Trevor. His name was Trevor. Um, I thought it was funny. And uh, the fact that she slowly, like, for, like, the whole week, would just, like, tack parts of his clothing up on her locker. <laughs> um, I thought it was funny. I was it right? Probably not. But to a sixteen-year-old who this guy was trying to, you know, I was gonna say something, but that's we're not gonna say that. Um, that is very much of a teenager thought of me. Um. <laughs> anyway, uh, I liked that scene. Um, I like. That at the end they brought back Jack's character. Jack? Yeah, Jack. Um, the boy that she helped when he was new to town. And then I liked that he turned out to be Matt's cousin. And that you could see throughout the whole entire book that Matt, Matt didn't approve of Trevor. But they were best friends until the end. When he was finally like, no, yeah, no, you're, we, we don't act like this anymore. No. Um, my eye. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Maybe, maybe I'm allergic to something. Um, my eye is starting to swell a little bit. Uh, sorry. I I could feel it, but then I just saw it, and I'm like, um, for those of you who didn't watch my last video, uh, or my review video, because I'm coming right off that, um, I'm just feeling really, like, itchy, and my eyes are starting to hurt, and I don't know what's going on. Maybe... I didn't take my allergy medicine this morning, but I don't think that I've gotten into anything. So I haven't eaten anything different. I'm drinking my coffee like normal. Although it's cold now because 
I've made like seven videos. Um, okay. Eight. When I said, I prepped out my um, Nancy Drew series before I made this, my review in here. Um, so this is going to be a few weeks out. Anyway, but I'm feeling weird. Um, I liked Jack's character. I thought he was a good character. I like how um, her dad introduces him to, I think, towards the end of the book. He's like, this is what I want you to meet my friend. This is Jack, whatever his last name was. And Jack was like, do you remember me? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> and then the dad's like, wait. How do you two know each other? Thanks. Can you step out of the screen? Oh. Um. No, she's not asleep. It's, it was too early to put her down for. <laughs> anyway. Um. And uh, I like I liked that scene. Anyway, um, I liked this book. Let's see, what else did I like? I like that they made her get a job. Um, to get to pay back dad. And, uh, I understand that feeling that she got whenever she had just finished, you know, getting the money to pay dad back. And then... The racket was on her locker, and she was like, I would have felt that rage, too. Um, probably enough to threaten him like she did. Uh, I do like that she turned around. She was like, but you love me. <laughs> I liked that part. That was funny. Um, and that you saw that that's when that's kind of when people started to step up for her and like the things started to change because um, they wouldn't let him beat her up. And even his best friend was one of the, Matt was even one of the people that like stepped up in front of her and was like, no, you can't hurt her. Um, I liked that. I was so upset. I, I mean, I, I, I saw it coming, okay? I saw it coming. But that part where um, Becky and Trevor were at the dance together. I think it was Trevor, right? I'm not just making that up. Um, when she was at the dance with Trevor, I was like, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. I didn't like that, but I saw it coming. She hinted at it, okay? But Raven was so love struck that she didn't catch any of it. She's, you know, oh, I'll just, I'll, I'll protect you. No, no, you don't get it. <laughs> it's already happening. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, that scene with her little brother when they finally kind of become friends where she realizes that um, they needed a different kind of relationship, I guess. I don't know how to explain that. I get that. <laughs> um, I liked that scene. I liked that it, at 16 she could figure that out. Yeah. That's a hard thing to figure out. That you need your siblings. Oh, okay. Sorry. I heard it. It sounded like a crash. <laughs> it, it, she's playing with the three balloon from her third birthday. Um, I was like. Um, anyway, I liked this book. I liked I liked the end of the book. Um, I liked, well, I liked the part where the whole town got together, except for Trevor. Well, I guess he shows up, but 
everyone's like, boo, get away. Um, I like that everyone got together at the end and welcomed Alexander because his family his family wasn't there, but Alexander and the butler to the town. Um, it made me really happy. And I loved after everyone was gone and um she uh Raven was about to leave and she found the the little compact and she was like <laughs> I can't see him in the mirror. <laughs> I love that. Stop. Two more minutes. Two more minutes, please. Take your balloon back to your ball pit. Thank you. Um, focus. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I liked that this whole time. It's true. It's true. Why? Here's my thing. If she wanted to know if he was a vampire or not, why didn't she just pretend like she was fixing her makeup one day when they were together? And like just when he wasn't paying attention. But problem solved. I'm just saying the book could have been so much shorter. Um, <laughs> uh, but then that very end where she found the letter and it was like, because I love you. Because you love me? You're le you left because you love me? Um, and that is why I need to listen to or read the second book. And um, if you watched my review, I found out that they also have graphic novels. Which sounds really exciting. So, I don't know if I want to read the whole series and then read the graphic novels or see if they line up somehow um i like a good graphic novel i have Drac dracula in the graphic novel um it is so cool uh i can post a link that's a it's a paper pie book i think it's still available i can post a link for that if y'all are interested um <laughs> But uh, don't forget in the description, in the description, I will link the Vampire Kisses book and um, yeah. What was your favorite part of this book? Did you read it? Did you just come here just to watch me ramble about a book that I enjoyed? Um, stalker. Uh, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I I like reading. I don't know when I will have the next book read because I saw I was reading. Okay, so I'm reading Hunger Games and I'm reading Breathe by James Nestor. And I that one's a library book and uh I have two other books that I've been looking for and they finally got them in and I had them on the like so that they would hold them for me whenever they got them and um I was so excited that they finally got them that I just like started reading those and they're 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 younger books I'll have to do a video on them just put it that way like I like these books. Um, they're creepy and um, it's called Shadow House. If I can find a picture, you know, I'll post it somewhere up here. Um, like that. So I, ha I stopped so I could read those because from what I understood, there was only three books. My recent search shows that there are four books and um, so I don't know how long I can keep breathe. I don't know if I can, I, this library that I'm going to, I don't know the rules um, of there. 
like free checkout thing because my old library that we used, I could go online and recheck it out as long as no one had it on hold. So we'll see what happens. Um, I know I'm still working on Hunger Games. I'm, I'll get it over with eventually. Don't worry about it. Uh, I think the next book that I'm going... There's a piece of hair in my mouth. Sorry. Next book that I'm going to listen to is going to be... The Rune Lord's Sum of All Men by David Farland. It's going to be a long one. I I can always, like, I already know because the person who recommended this book also had recommended um, the other really long one that I listened to. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I might just have to post about little kid books forever because um, I have plenty of those to talk about. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, and share um, the video so you can't force anyone to watch this, but sharing is caring. And I will see you on my next video.